what would Ayn Rand say of the flooding of our country with Mexicans? Now, he goes on with a number of economic issues, but I want to drop those and go on to culture, he says, is something. And most of white people's culture has been destroyed wherever the Mexicans go. Well, what is my view of immigration for Mexicans or anybody else? In principle, I hold it should be free. It is not a function of the government to prevent foreigners from coming into this country as they wish. The fact that you are born in or already live in this country does not entitle you to declare what should be done with the property and land that you don't own or with the voluntary arrangements of, the, of, of other people. Nobody owns or controls what isn't owned or controlled by individuals. Now, I think it's proper for the government to restrict physical threats, known criminals, people with contagious diseases, foreign agents uh, in time of war. But that's not the same thing as quotas for uh, nationalities. Now, what causes uh, the problem today is the welfare state. It's the handouts that are given to all the different immigrant groups as a part of having a living here. And of course, people validly say they're taking my money, they're getting free welfare and free schools and free hospitals that I'm paying for, and that causes resentment. But there's only one solution to it, and that is not to ban immigration, but to reinstate capitalism. And that's the only practical solution anyway, because there's no way to seal the border, even if you took the whole budget and the entire military and stationed them all around from Canada and the water, etc., you still couldn't stop it. I mean, you're talking about so massive a territory that it's, it's ridiculous for them to build a wall near Mexico while the agents of the immigration service are being continually subverted, bribed, and going over to the other side. It's just ridiculous, the whole thing. If you had capitalism, you would only attract a certain type of any culture, including a, a Mexican, the type that wanted to live the American mode of life. And that would mean the type that did fit into and promote the American culture. Now, as a matter of fact, I happen to know quite a number uh, of Mexicans through the years. And a great number, all of them that I know are like this, they promote Mexican culture in the sense that they listen to Spanish radio stations. They, they uh, you know, they like certain types of music. They like uh, tequila more than vodka. But things like that are uh, possible to every group, and that doesn't affect what is the substance of American culture. Uh, in fact, I think tequila is a great uh, contribution.